It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for AEW Dynamite. I am the Jam Song. With me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Redhead. How you doing tonight, Brock? Uh, fantastic. Excited for uh, another season. Season four starting. Um, excited what, for what we got going on. If you guys saw this past Monday, it was a SmackDown roster reveal. Uh, and then... Um, uh, that showed you guys what we got planned for, for going on and everything. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but Josh is back with us. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we shall see. We shall see what Josh has to bring. We'll, we'll hopefully be getting uh, <clears throat> some more energy out of, uh, out of yes. him this season. <laughs> a, little, a little energy and passion. But first things first, on our side, we have Soraya going one on one against her former partner, Tony Storm. Yes. Uh, Tony uh, adapting a new g- gimmick. I love it. The priceless gim- uh the timeless g- gimmick, and it uh, seems to be working. Oh, yeah. I love I love seeing that gimmick. I uh, love seeing the way she's presenting herself. She's 100% in character all of the time. Yep. Boom. Goes the dynamite. God Ooh, damn Season it. four is starting already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kick to the guts. Yep. Oh, and a headbutt from Ooh. Tony. Damn. Taking her down and trying to lock up those legs. Yep. Uh, and just so everyone knows this season, I forgot to turn off the... Uh, the health bars, and I also forgot to change the referee for my main show. Uh, that will be changing over the course of the next couple of shows. So, Do you know how to change that? Which one? The referee. The, yeah, man. When you're building your show, one of the one of the options is referees. Yeah. So when you go to train to uh, change your participants, go to match options. You, which is ridiculous. Why do they have us choose a referee when creating the show? When we have to change it every single week. Do you? I didn't know you had to change it as well. I already yep. I picked the yeah. ECW one in my show. <clears throat> yep, yep, and you got to change it every single week. Well, shit. Yep, you got to go to your participants me- menu and then uh, go to match options and then change the referee. Well, that seems like a lot more work that I'm going to put into this, so we're probably going to just see the same ref all the time then. There we go. Oh yeah, I also go. like forgot to turn off the uh, visual counts. I don't like the number showing up, so that would be off as of next show. Okay. So you had a little ring rust. You take a month off, right? <laughs> I know, I know. But it's needed, much like what I said in the group chat. That gives me the time to put together all fucking four, well now five well, shows. For you, yeah, with, for you. Yeah. For me, I have well, no I, like I manage man. one show. So. <laughs> I'm just lazy, that's all. Uh-oh. Whoop. Boom, there it is. Damn. That's what you call timeless flight. Damn. So, who are you hoping... Uh... So, who are you hoping that failed last season has a successful season this year? Uh, well, I mean, I was, who failed at the end of the season? I hope Danhausen and Orange Cassidy. Oh my <laughs> God, that's right! Oh, fantastic! And I, I mean, will Chris be Jericho for both also. of them all season. Yeah, and Chris Jericho also surprisingly losing to MJF. And, yep, uh, and remember, he get a t- title shot against. Uh, so, um, you guys will find out what happened with everything on our month off, because a lot of things happened backstage in preparation for the season, and, uh, let's just say JVL used his backstage politics, as he always does, and you guys are be seeing a big change, but, uh, yes, so as I said last season at the ending, Chris Jericho, we be, will be getting a world title shot, so that's, uh... Yeah, and you you gotta fix that's that fun. Jericho that you downloaded, man, because that's not the right one. <laughs> that's... Yeah. He will be fixed. Um, 
next he month. Fixed. Right? <laughs> he will be fixed after next week. He will be okay. fixed after next week, which is when he has his title shot. So not week one, but week two is when he has his title match. So all right, good, good. As long as he's fixed before yeah. that title match, I just want to make sure you we're using the same one. That's it. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice DDT from Tony Storm putting Saraya down. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Boom. Drop kick to the there face. There it is. Whoop, indeed. <laughs> Headbutts from nice. Saraya. Damn. Ooh, man, spit was a flying from that one. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Nice baby. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Ooh. Rhea might have her here. Not quite. Too sweet indeed. Ooh, dropping some, uh, the Tony Storm right on her head. Going to the top oh, yeah. rope. I don't know if that's very wise for someone who's uh, had neck surgery. Ooh, very lucky. Rana. Yep. Nice. Yep, there you go. I've noticed this season too, like this uh, this game, you're seeing like the bruising and stuff a lot more. You know, like yep. you can see Tony's back's got all kinds of bumps on it, and same thing with Soraya. Yes. Oh, nice. Free of woe. Tying her up and kicking her right in the Tetons. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, nice. Soraya kicks out of it. And another painful looking DDT. Going for the cover. Oh, she gets the rope just in time. Damn. Tony's like, uh uh. Uh uh. And Paige looking to give her a concussion. Yep. Ooh. Yep. And I'm so happy we're not going to see the most infamous move in all of 2K22. Well, we might still see it, but just not as often. No, no. <laughs> Well, it's one of Penta's we legit moves, so... We, oh, and Soraya uh, takes it away. Damn. I also forgot to edit the names of people. I know, I <laughs> I do that too, because I say I'm going to do it, and then I never do it. Yeah. And I don't like it when the, their, their names aren't all in caps. Yeah. Because most of them are, and then you download one or two that are like... Uh, it's more work for me. Oh, so before we continue, I wanted to bring up that uh, I am thankful that once again, Jamsaw is cur courteous with uh, lending his talents when needed. Uh, Nyla Rose will be uh, helping us uh, kick off the season against our, uh, which if you guys saw on Monday, uh, Gabby Tuft is coming, uh, coming to the season to help uh, bring power to the women's division. So Nyla oh, Rose will be oh, coming over to us on Friday to help us out one for one night. Oh yeah, brother, brother. Oh, brother, brother. I was also smart this uh, this year, and I used like the uh, match card system because I, I I like to have three singles matches, one tag, one triple threat, and one quadruple threat. Mm -hmm as my standard base matches. Yeah. And then I'll evolve or change things on the fly depending on how I feel, but I, I tend to try to stick mostly to those. 
So I set up my percentages to book those kind of matches and uh, so that the computer can pre-book for me and then all I have to do is swap out people. You know, if I don't like the right. people that, that, that it picks, I'll put in the people that I want to book. Or if I decide I want to have like a, a six-man eliminator, well, I'll, I'll take out the, the four-man match and make that a six-man eliminator or something like that. Right. So I'm playing this year more strategically and more automated. So the one thing that I wasn't a big fan of is like some of the rivalry stuff. Like you go to start the match and then it asks you to pick shit. And I just want it to automatically fill stuff in. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm hoping, which I say every single first month of the season, that this season I'm the most excited for. So I'm going to say it again. And I'm excited for this month. Very excited. I'm excited to see Ruby. You know, we were talking earlier, someone that I'd like to see succeed that didn't do so well last season, Ruby Soho. That's uh, one for sure. I don't know. Yeah, because Anna Han is like an unstoppable beast. Yeah, she was. She helped me out too, being one of the most dominant NXT Women Champions. Yeah, and I like the model that I got this year. It looks like even more like her than the one last year. Yep. Well, my answer is always going to be the same as the previous years. Natalia needs to be a world champion, and with her strictly on ECW, uh, I would love to see her be ECW Women's World Champion. Oof. Look at that ladder go flying. But one of the things I'm most excited about this season is uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see Adam Copeland formerly yes. Edge in the AEW. And with that, you're gonna be seeing Jay Cargill this season on uh, SmackDown. Yep. I think it was a pretty uh, good trade this... for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. And with this being the uh, the uh, farewell tour for a lot of the talent, I'm hoping to see new world champions that deserve it. I hope so, man. I hope so. I would love Batista to be world champion. Um, or in get at least one more run. Uh, Brock Lesnar, get at least one more run. Uh, stuff like that. So we'll see. That Ooh. we shall, my friend, that we shall. But in the meantime, we're seeing Chris Statlander trying to put the muscle on Anna J. Yes. Oh. Oh. Nice. Ruby missed the knee. Oh, gets clipped in the face for, for her trouble. And Ooh. drop her. Drop her. I barely even know her. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. There you go, so, Ruby. So now that Humanoid officially passed his probational period, in quotations, because like we, like I do, uh, when you jump on, you get one season as a, you do the show that I want, to show that you can put match cards together, and then the following season, until you leave us, you get your own show. Um, Humanoid, are you excited for what he's going to do with Impact? Well, Ooh, I'd have to damn. say probably, uh, but I mean, like it was me personally, I was not a big fan of Impact, but that being said, I know what Humanoid's done last season with his show when he was doing NXT. Was it NXT? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I think if he brings that kind of energy and ingenuity, then it could make Impact worth watching. Yeah. And Josh still hates Dylan. So we got that going. Well, yeah. I mean, like, the competition between the two of them of who's missed the most shows is... Uh... <laughs> oh, God damn. But nobody will beat me for oversleeping and missing an hour of, <laughs> of pay-per-view. Pay yeah. <laughs> God damn. Oh, nice yeah. kick to the face. From what I've seen so far with the female talent, I would love to see to t Tony Storm succeed with the Timeless... Yep, gimmick, I would love to see that become uh, TBS champion uh, or a uh, world champion, whatever well, she right goes for. right now she's world champion. She, she, was, she won the world champion at the pay-per-view. Did she? Yeah. She beat Britt Baker and Saray. Oh, yeah. And Sheeta. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was a, I forgot it was a, a fatal four-way. 
Ooh. Yep. Kendo stick to the back. Statlander's a beast, man. Oh, yeah. And Anna J, uh, TBS champion. Yep. Yep. She retained. Yes. Like, she only lost once, I think, the entire season, and it was to Willow. Yep. And then Will- yeah, Willow, Willow used was on her, her shit. Yeah, Willow used her uh, Royal Rumble win to try to get that TBS title back and was not able to to achieve it. Yep. And Moxley taking it from Orange. From Orange. Oh, yeah. Uh, Orange. He stole yep. the, uh, the international title from Orange. Right, Which, Sean's by the way, our main event tonight is a rematch. He's using his rematch clause to try to get it back. I'm glad Sean Spears fucking it. it fucking dude, he pushed the time limit on that shit. But he oh. ended the season with, like, the tip of his dick dipping it into the title scene. So yep. I'm excited Walking away with to see that what TNT he does title. that. Yep. Kendo busted right over Chris Statlander's head. But, uh, I mean, that's what we're going to see a little bit here tonight. We're going to see three kind of rematches. We're going to be seeing uh, the tag team title rematch between the Guns and Orange House, and they want their tag titles back. And we're going to yep. see Danhausen against Sean Spears in a ladder match uh, for uh, his title rematch. And then the main event is Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley in a tables match for that international title. So I know he's a simple design because uh, CEC does uh, does what it does. But um, how does Orange look different from 2K22 to 2K23? Is there any difference? Uh, well, yeah. Um, I mean, the one that I found was a scrawnier one on 2K22. On 2K23, he's a little bit more built. Uh, his face looks a little bit more realistic. Okay. Dan and Housen Dan Housen? looks exactly the same. Yeah. Oh yeah! Damn, Anna. Anna J putting in the work. Ruby, really hurt. And one thing I gotta say for this season too is like the, a lot more of a sweat effect. You get yep. to see how hard they're working. Damn, Anna J taking it away again. Here is your winner, Damn. The superstar. Anna J, god damn. That's right. You hold my hand up, motherfucker. That is championship material, ladies and gentlemen. The one thing I'm not looking forward to is Josh booking Athena and uh, fucking Bandito. Yeah. So here we go. Orange Housing against the Guns. I don't quite think they have the tint of Orange Cassidy's hair quite right. It should be a little bit more on the red side. It's a little bit more like a dirty blonde. Orange thousand versus the guns. This is for the titles. Another thing that I tried to do this season too is I went into my superstars and I assigned whose people's managers and allies and enemies were. Yep. Yep. So I'm hoping that'll play into some good story. It does, only it sucks because I have to, because I, the normal ma- matches are always the ones that get booked first. I don't know what why it does it, but I tried booking it as custom matches because, as you know, it's no DQ, no count outs, no, no DQ, yeah, no, no DQ, what, knockout, pinfall, submission. So every week I need a custom match for every match. And, why don't, why don't uh, you make a custom match and then put that as your match table? Oh, that's what I that's what I tried doing. And last mm-hmm. year it didn't work. It worked for like a few months and then it went back to its old self. So mm-hmm. every week I got to go in and change it. But uh, uh, every time I do, they're always stuck with their managers. And I'm like, I don't want you. So then when I change it, they go away. But still. But yeah, it's ridiculous. Jeez. Hammering away on Orange's head. Yep. So who are you rooting for? 
obviously I gotta go with Orangehausen because I bitch. want <laughs> them. I want them to leave. But I'm gonna root for them until this goes away. Yeah. The, the minute one of them wins, the minute one of them wins, then I'm not gonna do it anymore. But if the if this curse is real, we're starting the season off a hot. Mm. Then uh, we'll see. Oh, are the guns not wearing any uh, designs outfits? Well, yeah, it's like they're they're just white outfits. They have these little patterns on them, and on the front, it says guns. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there were a couple different gun designs, but I thought these ones looked the most real. So that's what I went for more than anything else. Rather right. than than gear, I wanted to make sure that the the actual models looked the best. Although the nope. um, the former Jericho Appreciation Society, who I've just relabeled 2.0 again, of Matt Menard and Angelo Parker, um, I, I'm I've given them their their white pants. Okay. They had their their red pants with the Jericho Appreciation Society logo on it. I went and I edited it. I took off the Jericho Appreciation Society logo and just changed their red colors to white. Nice. Look at, look at their uh, Colt and Gun doing nothing to help his brother Austin. I mean, why stop it and make him more ang angry? Because remember, he's very he's evil, but very brother. nice. <laughs> he's hitting your brother. You should try to stop him, man. If that was somebody hit, beating on my brother, I'd try to stop him. I guess well, they, don't have, they don't have brotherly love. <laughs> clean tag. Yep, very clean. And very, very nice. nice. <laughs> Damn, shoulder block. That's Ooh. why I'm rooting for them, because oh. they're way too good. Yeah. Maybe you could root from a little less hard so my boys stop getting hurt. Nope, nope, the curse is real. <laughs> I should have never told you. I should have had you keep you rooting for the up. other guys. <laughs> yep, you shutting up. Because I was never going to root for them until you're like, eh, I can do what I'm going to do. There you go. Boot to the Ooh. face. Suck it, he says, but Orange jumps right up. Not letting it face him, even though he's all bloodied up. There it is. Whoop, indeed, a lazy knee. It is that sloth style, man. Oh, here we go. What kind of double team maneuver do we got going on here? Ooh. Oh, you're missing it. Oh, here we bye go. Bye. Ooh. Yeah, that was very nice. And a little very evil, too. And a little bit of very evil. Come on, Dan Housen, you gotta get out of it. You gotta uh -oh. get out of it. Uh -oh. Damn it. Damn. Trying to snap that wrist like a twig. Yup. Come on, Dan Housen, this isn't what your mama wanted. And there it is. Most Ooh, dangerous indeed. move in all of 2K22. So the big question is, did you delete 2K22 yet? No, I didn't. Okay. I got a lot of hard drive space, so I figure I don't need to. Plus, just in case, last minute, if I want to download any last minute uh, community creations. When does that end again? I think they said... Uh, in March. Okay. So we got like or, a year. Well, not quite a year, like less than well, half no, a not, year. Right. But like next year. Yeah, it's bef before the new one comes out. God. Well, with my sit sit situation, I'm not going to buy a game unless, uh, unless I get gift cards from people. Yeah, I can feel you. I feel the same. I'm in the same boat, my man. Yep. Too much back death to catch up on. Yep. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice. Oh, and w one thing that I do want to say, I don't know if it's out of place, but I, I just want to mention here that uh, we at AEW are sorry for the loss of Abby. We made a few appearances on each of our shows. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. She, she was a real sweetie, and I'm very glad that I got the chance to meet her. Yes. Oh, my God. She loved you, man. It was annoying because I didn't want her to love you. <laughs> it, was, it was very annoying because I was like... Because uh, as you guys know, Jam Toss stayed with us because he had to work. So he stayed with us for a night so that way he didn't have to pay for a place to stay or whatever. So he stayed with us. And I was like, no one else can have him because he's mine. And then my wife's cat's like, nope, bitch. I run this house. He is mine. I'm like, all right, whatever. Yeah, animals love me. I can't Hazel help it. loves it's you. Just... Buddy loves you. Yep. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, but yes, uh, yes. She you might say always... I have animal magnetism. I knew it. <laughs> but she was fantastic. You know, she was, yep. she was a really cool cat. Yep. But, um, so on a lighter subject, what did you think? First off, did you know that Adam was going to sign with AEW? And what did you think when he appeared? I'd heard I'd heard rumors that it was going to happen for like a few months, and then when he did his last match with Sheamus, and he kind of made it seem like he was done with WWE, I was like, yeah, I think he'll do one more run in AEW just to be with uh, with Christian, you know? Yeah. He saw Christian went there and had fun. He saw Adam Cole went there and had fun. Chris Jericho, you know? And I mean, like it's like he said, he he's been in WWE long enough that he's done it all. He's been with everybody. At least coming to AEW, he, yeah, he'll face Christian as, like, a big rival. But there's a ton of people he's never faced before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, like, 99% of the, the roster he's never Oh, yeah. I'd love to see Adam Copeland versus uh, Kenny Omega. I think that would be a phenomenal match. That was a big, big match that he all wanted to see, too. Yeah. I would love to see him face the likes of, like, Brian Cage and uh, Hobbs and all that shit. Like, give him a big dude and, like, well, uh, he, he see what he can do with that. Well, he went up against Luchasaurus. Well, yep, in reality, I saw that. he gets uh, Luchasaurus uh, last, uh, last week, was it? Last Wednesday, yeah. And he was pull pulling off some great-looking spears, too. Oh, yeah. They looked a bit different, too. Like, he well, put, I'm, like, I'm a sure little he, bit he, of a different pizzazz on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, because, like, I think WWE kind of, like, puts more control over the moves than AEW does. Yeah. I, and I know it's, like, for safety and stuff like that, but, I mean, these guys are professionals, and if they want to take a little bit of risk, you should let them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, come on! There you go, Dan. Boom! Drop! Dropping him right on his back. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed that. Oh! Austin flying out of nowhere to stop that. Yep. Ooh, eats it for his trouble. Come on, you gotta, you gotta pin Colton. Colton's rolling out. That's not the legal man, Orange. Or is it? I was right. <laughs> Austin's not the legal man. Why is the ref not counting? Ooh, oh. boom! Damn! Wasted time showboating. Come on, Danhausen, you can do it. Oh, no. One, a two, and orange saves the day. <laughs> Colton caught him. 
Drop it. There you go. Holden looking to finish Danhausen. His foot's under the rope. His foot's under the rope. Oh. The WWE ref is blind. Oh. Oh, Danhausen. Well, now, now you have no excuse. Wow, ref. <laughs> Damn it. And the curse continues. Mm. Is Brock rooted for them? Here are your winners. Yes. Still, Alliance Wrestling and World Tag Team Love it. Champions. Love it, folks. Love it, folks. No, well, you just broke the curse. You said you love this, which means that you nope, really nope, wanted these nope, guys. The Nope, the match officially is over. I can go back to how I truly feel. <laughs> oh, is that how you think curses work? Well, yep. we'll see you in this next match, a nice little ladder match. And by the way, you were right. There's only five slots. There used to be like eight. Told you. Yeah, it's crazy. It will make for faster ladder matches, though. Oh, yeah. See, at first I thought I was wrong, and then I'm like, wait, did I give him false information? And I was like, no, I know what I saw. I'm not fucking wrong. And poor Dan has the two coming right off that loss. You gotta think it's gotta it's gotta get to him too. For sure. Especially when he's going up against one of your favorites, Sean Spears. Yep. Always wanted him to succeed, and he's finally after three fucking years showing his his uh, successful side. Indeed, man. I mean, like, I kind of want to root for Sean Spears on this one. But remember, like they always say, winning the title is easy. easy, easy. It's keeping, keeping the title. Yeah. That's the hard part. That's the challenge. But I think he's up to snuff, man. I mean, marrying Peyton Royce. Having a child with her. Part of the Iconics. But since uh, uh, hum Humanoid is, is doing Impact every Thursday, uh, her and Billy Kay are in the tag division as Inspiration. Oh, that's right. They became Inspiration when they left. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be fun to look forward to. Uh, I just want to say after running my five shows, uh, you might be glad you're not uh, facing Dylan or, or Humanoids. I think you'd be... Uh, be messing your pants if you wore your your uh, white pants. Well, two things: one, I never wear white pants, and two, I ain't scared of nothing. Like I always tell you, my show will still always be on top. What you're saying is, I should create an event where. What I'm saying is, pack your lube, boys, because I'm always on top. <laughs> Dude, if we had. All five world champions, all five mid card champions, all five tag team champions. Like, that would be a fucking massive show. It would be insanity. Oh, brother. Brother, brother. Ooh. Nice. Nice, Dan Housen. Oh, and there you go. Into the face. Sean Spears, though. I know. They have a lot less uh, notch, notches to rip off. That's true. But, I mean, look at the size difference. I mean, Sean Spears is a pretty large fellow overall. Yep. Not as big as uh, Matt Morgan, no, though. No, for sure. And, I mean, like, we're comparing him to Dan Housen. So, I mean, Dan Housen isn't the largest if fellow. Dan Housen fought Matt Morgan. Holy shit. Oh, he's got we one. got one. Two. Come on, Dan Housen, get up there. Nice. Nice. Oh, blocked. Oh. He got cock blocked. Boo. Boo. Ooh, baby, we need Sean Spears. We know you yeah. want Sean Spears to win. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Housen. Dan Housen. Dan Housen. What do you got? What do you got? Get three. Get three. Oh, get no, nope, only one. Yeah! Oh, 
Is he gonna choke slam him? Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Sean Spears yeah, did it again. Come on, Down, two. Sean Spears. Sean Spears. Oh no. Oh, Only one notch was, left. Oh. oh. oh ah, at least he didn't ooh. slam him on the ladder. <laughs> oh, oh, that caught his arm though. But yeah, he missed it. Thank God. Ooh, there you go. Right on the neck. That's how Dan House have one more notch to get. Whoa, Whoa. shit. Sean. Damn. Tossing him. He's rolling out of the ring. This is your chance, Sean. Oh, Grab that ladder. Dan House. Nope. No. Oh. oh he went for the Fuck high that. risk, no reward. Fuck that. So, how many AEW um, are you? Eight, how many arenas were you like uh, debating putting as your week your week to week show? Well, there was only two choices uh, that that I had picked from because uh, okay. I like to try to go with what's most real to what's happening right now. So this is the one that I picked, and it's the closest one to uh, the Dynamite week to week show. I was considering grabbing a Collision show and doing a minor Saturday show, but I was about to say, are you going to do like a little show? I was thinking about it, but so far, no. It's just extra work, but I might change my mind later. But uh, I did um, get some new pay-per-views this year, so we're not going to see uh, Fighter Fest or Fight for the Fallen. Uh, we're not going to see uh, Halloween Havoc. All right. all right, so this is what I got. This is what I got for our shows. So May, Double or Nothing. June, Fighter Fest. July, Bash yeah, yeah. the Beach. You, you can stop right there because Fighter Fest... Is no more. Um, here, okay. Let me bring up my list. Oh, Danhausen took it away. God damn. Sean. Uh, you were too busy talking about Sean. shows. You weren't rooting for your boy. <laughs> Sean, you Here's fucked up. No. I'm done with the curse. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I'm done. That was fucking ridiculous. All right. So if you want my shows, me is double or nothing. June, Blood yep. and Guts. July, Bash at the Beach. Although I think they call it Beach Bash. Yeah. Because of some law thing with with the WWE. Yep. Then there's SummerSlam. Yep. Then I got All In and then All Out. So All In is September and All Out is October. October. Yeah. Okay. So let me change that. All in, and then this is October's all out. All out, okay. And then November Survivor Series. December is New Year's Smash. And the only reason I made that New Year's Smash is because uh, Royal Rumble's in January. So I right, figured so because nope. it's at the end of December, it's kind of still a New Year's Smash. Okay. So Royal Rumble January, and then full gear in February. Full gear in February, okay. And Revolution in March. Perfect. And then like we said last season, folks, I will be taking over the, cr the cross-brand shows. Yep, so I don't have to download a bunch of shit anymore. It's all on him. <laughs> it's all on me. So back to reality, uh, Sean Spears, you better be having a better fucking season than that. God damn it. Well, we'll have to see, man. Well, he had a, a great end of last season, just not a great start to this season. But Dan Housen, he lost one, won one. He's one and one. All right, so what do we got here? Well, we got the, the Battle of the Adams and Jericho. <laughs> we have Adam Page, Adam Cole... Adam Copeland and Chris Jericho. I, I was hoping for a third, for a fourth Adam, but I didn't have any other Adams on my show. Oh, Jericho, cleaning house. Oh, Adam Cole getting tossed around Damn. like a rag. Yep. Oh, Jericho caught him. Page against Copeland with that 
sledgehammer. I'm liking that edge, by the way. Yeah, it's really nice. I found uh, I found him online, and he was listed as Adam Copeland, but he was he's wearing his uh, la the last attire that he won in in, a uh, in WWE, the one that he fought uh, Sheamus in. Yep. I love my Jericho too. He looks badass. And if he's not changed next week, then he will be changed uh, right after that. Because uh, yeah, I didn't like him, but I had downloaded him uh, when I, when we were in our the start of our month off. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so he will be changed. So there's a couple different uh, creators that I always try to go look forward to. Like I, I do, like I told you, I try to sort by uh, most uh, most, most upvoted. downloaded. Yeah, oh, most, most yes, upvoted. Most up yeah. Yep. Uh, and then when I go through there too, I also look for specific creators like uh, one of them's Omega something, one of them's What's the Status, and one of them's Defract. Those three have the best shit. Right. So if I can't find those three, then I'll grab whatever's the most popular. Right. Ooh, chop block on Adam Cole. Uh oh. And Paige tossed out by Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho looking to really put the hurt on Paige on the outside. Whoa! Boom! Right on the edge of the apron. Oh, Copeland. Cleaning house. Hey, I'm doing damage already. Oh, yeah. Flying knees and boots of disaster. Oh, tosses Cole right into Jericho. It's a slam for his efforts. Oh, super kick to, to Adam Page from Cole. Oh, oh right on the barrier. That's gotta hurt the back. Huge. Yeah, they gotta be careful Jericho. with that. They gotta be way careful with that. Oh, <laughs> two kip ups in a row. Oh, hammer from Jericho. Oh, Paige does not get a chance to capitalize with it. Oh. Copeland dropped right on the arm of that hammer. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Toss Page toss back in. Oof. Chris Jericho eats the boot but kips up. Yep. Interrupted by Copeland. Copeland gonna slam. Oh, Adam Cole. Oh, twice into the apron. Best bulldog in the biz from Jericho in the center of the ring. Oh, Judas effect on page one. Two. Oh, only a two count, though. And that's the big move that secured him the Primus Games win to set off our entire feud by you, Jericho, and me. I keep telling you this, and you refuse to listen. I did nothing. I did not Jericho. I could not physically Jericho you, for for I am not Chris Jericho. No, but you represent Jericho. I represent AEW. Jericho happens to also represent AEW. He's just a superstar of the A ship. That's all. My God. 
Jeez, Paige stomping mud holes. Looks like he's calling for a finisher. Copeland gets in the way and he eats it instead. Jericho's got to wake up. Stop the ki Oh, and Paige takes it away because Jericho was stunned. And Adam Cole did not believe that uh, Edge wouldn't kick out. That was like the ultimate know your place, kid. Paige was like, this is my show. You are new here. I am not the rookie. That's true. Damn. He's a he's a, an original, man. One of the, the, the first superstars signed to AEW. In an amazing match. Damn. Up next, we have Orange Cassie trying to take back his title from John Maxley. All right. Come on, Orange Cassidy. If this fails this time, then the curse is done. I'm done with it. Well, Dan House might have. See, Dan I think House you fucked have... yourself because you, you had praised the winner last time at the end of the match. And also, we're talking about how much you liked uh, Sean Spears, but that's just. Damn it. Moxley. You just sabotaged yourself, bro. Congratulations, you played yourself. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> oh. Oh. I just poured myself a little of my honey jack from my stormtrooper to cancer gifted to me by my very good best friend Brock. You're goddamn right. Only stormtrooper who shots never miss. Also, I painted you a title for Chris Jericho, and yep. now I'm giving you a Chris Jericho real world title. Yep, I got the painted one uh, oh. on, my, on my background. People always comment about it during meetings at work. Damn. I can't Listen, wait until I, know I get the real belt there, too. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. Where are you going to put it? Because it's, 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 it's huge. I'm not going to lie. Like, when yeah. I throw it right over my shoulder, it goes past my waist. Like, it's long. Like, I got those dudes are fridge. huge. Yeah, I got my little beer fridge, so I'm going to put it on top of that. I think. I'm going to okay. try to buy a little display stand that I can place it on. Yeah, I'm glad it's not Velcro in the back like the tag titles are for WWE. Like, yeah. it's like actual, like, buttons. Buttons. Yeah, the way it should be. Yep. Now, all you gotta do is expand on it and pick up, uh... Pick up, uh, the John Cena spinner belt for your oh. collection. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna stick with AEW belts. I think I, I will try to get, maybe at one point, the TNT title. Ooh. Or the international. There we go. Oh, damn. If I get the international, I want it to have Orange Cassidy's name on it. If I get the TNT title. I don't know, man. Yeah, now that Maybe your Christian, started, yeah, Christian you can, Cage. Uh, yeah. I mean. If I were to get a Christian belt... I would want it to be uh, Big probably <laughs> probably the ECW World Title. Eh, makes sense. Yeah, if I'm gonna get a Randy Orton belt. I would go with the old well, IC belt. I loved that one. Loved that one. Lift him up on his shoulders. Snake eyes. Yep. Nice. But that's not how you win a tables match. No, it's not. Orange. Oh, to the top oh. of the head. 
Damn. Now who sets it up? And here we go. Oh shit. Boom. Oh, kip up. Like it was nothing. Yep. Come on. Oh, I thought he was gonna superplex Damn. him and maybe put him through the table. Oh, come on, Orange. Guess someone needs a few more points in area. Oh, yeah. Moxley just dismantling him. Elbows on the knee. Oh, oh, oh. Go! Oh, oh. oh, that was close. Very close. Very close indeed. Oh, come on, Orange. Missed that Superman punch. Hitting the chops. Boom! But it does not break the table. The table's got to be set up, although I see some big cracks in it. It is not going to take much to, to get that table to crack. Nope. There you go. Set that shit up, yep. Orange. Why are you going for the second one? That was a mistake. Aw, oh, shit. Oh! And taking him to the table. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, and he fights out of it. Come on, man. You just should have done a fucking suplex. But... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Damn. So, who are you rooting for? Uh, I gotta go with Orange Cassidy. So I gotta, <laughs> I, I, I got to. I gotta at least have hope that this curse has some meaning. If Orange wins, then um, the curse is broken. I'm never gonna do it again. But Danhausen did poke a hole in it, so I gotta keep my composure. You need to. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. Listen, there's only one thing that I know, is that you are, you are, and you are no one's bitch. That's right. You are mine. <laughs> Boom! Power bomb through the table. John Moxley retaining the hey. international title. Here is your winner, and still alive. And, and still the title holder and the champion and all that stuff. Damn. And that, Love my it. friends, is the end of week one of AEW Dynamite. We look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Links is always in the description. Go check out my partner, Brock uh, Redhead, all his gaming content. We love you. See you next time. Peace. Peace.